Michael Sata came to power in September 2011, the fifth president of independent Zambia. Born in 1937, he was in turn a police officer, railway man and trade unionist. After independence in 1964, under the leadership of Zambia's first president, Kenneth Kaunda, Sata became the governor of the capital, Lusaka. Kaunda remained in power for another 27 years. <laughs> but in 1991, a campaign was launched demanding the return of multi-party elections. It was at this time Sata left the ruling party, UNIP, to join the movement for multi-party democracy under the leadership of Frederick Chiluva. I, Frederick Jacob Chiluva. The MMD won the 1991 elections. Sata served in the ministries of local government, labor, and health. He was later appointed minister without portfolio. In 2001, Sata left the MMD when President Chiluva appointed Levi Mwanawasa as the party's flag bearer and not him. He formed the Patriotic Front, which lost elections in 2001, 2006, and in 2008. But in 2011, Sata ran for president for a fourth time. His persistence paid off. He won 43% of the vote. Being the returning officer for the election to the office of the president, do hereby declare that I have, in accordance with the law, ascertained the results of such an election, and I therefore declare Michael Chirushia Sata to be duly elected as the president of the Republic of Zambia this 23rd day of September 2011. As we move into the next chapter of Zambia's history. Throughout his political career, he was seen as controversial. Dubbed King Cobra, Sata was known to have a sharp tongue, often insulting and publicly reprimanding ministers and civil servants. Yes. He even took former U.S. President George Bush to task, calling him a young man and colonialist when he showed up late for a meeting. He was known as a man of action with a hands-on approach. Kwanguliwewe, Johannesburg.